Hello guys, good afternoon. I'm back and I'm doing a video, uh, but it's totally different now. I'm outdoors in our backyard. It's really hot here in Texas. Um, it's around 1.30 and the video I want to do, uh, the video is about this plant here. Um, I was about to, uh, like, I'm thinking about doing a video about these uh, Nepenthes that I place outdoors. But uh, today uh, I was checking and I finally saw this uh finally because i have a nepenthes by calcarada picture with fangs um and i'm so happy because it took uh 14 months before this happened um let me just get the tag it is a nepenthes by calcarada red flush from carnivero uh, it arrived on the 4th of june last year and uh if you guys were watching uh, my some of my videos um i did mention that uh, this plant or plants were um were struggling in my grow tent uh, where the temperatures at the most is like 75 78 and you can see here still some of the damage um on the leaves here and uh, uh at first i uh, was thinking that it's due to low humidity even though um my humidity in the protein is around 80s but it's on the top part because from what i know they need temperatures in the 80s and humidity at the 80s uh, but now as you can see here this the, this is the newest leaf and this is the uh the orange again yeah the, this is another by calcarata orange but you can see the new leaves don't have that damage and i believe now it's not the humidity but it's more of uh, temperature damage or cold damage um, I, again this is just my theory in my own conditions because um, as you can see there's not a single browning area on this uh, new leaf with the with the new uh, pitcher so it likes really warm temperatures um, in care guides uh, in literature online it's uh, 80s and above um, but I'll show you guys here um, I have this thermometer and uh, humi humi humidity, humidity gauge uh, facing the window so I can look anytime during the day and you can see it's more than 80 more than 80 uh, Fahrenheit it's 97.2 Fahrenheit and humidity is 39% so I would spray this several times a day um, I, if I have the time when I see it, I'll just uh, do a quick spray of uh, rainwater, um, but not all the time. Sometimes I forget. Uh, and uh, but as you can see, 39%, um, and that, but it's still doing good. So that means in my end, I think it's more of temperature issues in the grow tent uh, rather than humidity. Um, and uh, this is just like it's like 1 30 in the afternoon but at around 4 to 5 p.m uh this area will get direct sunlight so right now it's it's shaded but around 4 or 5 p.m it will get direct sunlight until around like 7 30 to 8 so um about uh, four four hours of direct sunlight and the temperature i would see here would get to like uh, 104 105 uh, there was extremes of 110 fahrenheit um but as again as you can see the plants are doing really good um so i would water this every two days and i know that uh, for nepenthes they don't want to sit on water but in my end i let water about an inch here just like what i do with this venus fly traps it's because it's just so hot um, when i get the water like an inch up here give it a day or two and it's like completely dry as you can see here um but yeah i'm very happy uh this one uh, the orange is supposed to grow another uh really nice uh, for a preacher but uh i i broke it but there's another one on its way and they're thriving you can see the leaf jump here how big these leaves are compared to the old ones i cut down the old uh, leaves but there's a new growth here so they're doing really well and uh, in my end i would say uh, they can tolerate um, temperatures of up to 110 fahrenheit as long as you only have uh, four or five hours of direct sunlight and that's afternoon sunlight so it's not as intense as like right now as you can see there uh, 
the moss are struggling and it's really it's dry but if i put my finger in here this area is kind of depressed because i always put my finger in there uh, it's still moist uh, but i'll be watering it later if i put water in there right now it will get dry real fast um, but yeah very happy uh, now let me show you so this is the red flush i've seen uh, pictures of the red flush it's more red uh, uh this is my wife she's in there okay so yeah uh red flush so it's uh and i'm impressed by how big this picture is like this is the first picture it ever produced since i got this and it's already for me it's already big enough and the fangs are really uh prominent look at that so beautiful so i'm so happy um and my concern though is of course when winter comes um i need to put this indoors uh, so I'll figure it out maybe on a window seal. I have a northwest facing window seal that will get direct sunlight for maybe uh, longer than four hours but again temperature is going to be cooler indoors usually winter uh, I set my thermostat as like 70 uh, Fahrenheit so but in the direct sunlight it might get it to like 75 hopefully, hopefully 80 just to uh, give these guys uh, a chance to uh, uh, grow better. Uh, compared to my uh, um, in my growth tent during uh, during winter, so uh, let me let me talk about the other uh, uh, Nepenthes in here uh, in in this uh, rack. So let's talk about this uh, Nepenthes here. Um, this is a uh, Nepenthes hybrid. I purchased it from a local nursery. Uh, so I think it's a Ventrata. Um, I purchased it on uh, May fourth, twenty twenty two. So. This, it, this one never uh, never kept it in my uh, grow tent um, ever since I purchased this I'll show you a picture of how it looked like um, ever since I purchased this it's been outdoors and then during the winter I just put it in that Northwest uh, window I was talking about and the reason why is I just want to find out if this uh, if the panties can survive outdoors um, I just moved in two years ago so this is just my second year here uh, so I have no idea how the the weather uh, works I uh, spent like three and a half years in Indiana so those are winters so I'm not familiar with uh, Texas weather and of course I came from the Philippines I grew up there so uh, I just want to figure out how the uh, temperature the weather works before I actually put um, other panties outdoors uh, but this one uh, true to its name Ventricosa uh, very easy uh, the Alata line is also very easy to grow all are uh, from what I know is uh, endemic in the Philippines and of course um, a lot of people uh, these are mass produced, they are hybridized and they produce really hardy plants and what more can I say? Um, I have several pictures here and what's weird um, about this is uh, they don't run out of water. There's always fluid in the pictures um, and the reason I say that is because this Gaia here always dries out. I just uh, sprayed some water in there. Um, but yeah, look, it's, it's grown really tall and uh, if you've seen the picture uh, when I first received it, it's really small uh, But once it got adapted, it, it just uh, kept growing and I have like uh, two basils in there uh, Which is picturing and so this is really cool. Um, I uh, repotted it in a bigger pot I have some bamboo uh, trellis here for it to uh, to support it and uh, it's been catching a lot of, um, let me see if we can, of ants and insects in there. Uh, let's see if this is would be, uh, can be seen easier. Uh, no, but yeah, so I mean Ventrata hybrid, uh, very hardy plant. And uh, yeah, ever since it's been outdoors and then indoors, yeah, by a window seal and it's doing good. Uh, last one here um, this would be my Nepenthes Gaia uh, this is the mother plant I did a video about uh, uh, I, I removed the basils and replanted them that's the first Nepenthes where in I separated basils and uh, took out this mother plant I, I after I removed the basils it's been several months so I believe it's uh, well established again it's a hardy plant um, from what I researched this was one this one is from pet fly trap it's a uh, 
hybrid between Cassiana and uh, Ventricosa and Maxima hybrid. And uh, one of the easiest uh, panties I've grown, never had any issues. Again, when I separated the basils, I had five and they're all doing good. They're all in the grow tent. Uh, it's still struggling. Um, never, this is the newest picture I had, really small. And then this one is a bit deformed. So it's still uh, acclimatizing to the uh, weather, but I'm pretty sure give it a few more weeks because uh, I brought this three out uh, June 19th. Um, and in just last two months, this has produced, uh, you know, better pictures than before. Um, but uh, yeah, this one is still um, acclimatizing. I get stressed out definitely when I uh, remove the basils. Uh, but yeah, I can see new where pictures are forming. I'm not really concerned about this because as by the end of August, around early September, the weather is going to get, get a bit better, like lower 90s. And I'm pretty sure it will bounce back. And uh, again, uh, temperatures of like 110 Fahrenheit, uh, low humidity. Of course, I spray it, but not all the time. Uh, if, for, if, some, if for some Nepenthes, it's got to be dead by now, but uh, it's not yet dead. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, confident about this guy here. And uh, yeah, now back to the Baikal Karadas. Um, in the wild, uh, from what I've researched, um, there are ants that actually live in the uh, hollow areas of their leaves here. And I noticed some ants did live live um, uh, in these areas here, but uh, I don't think it's the same species, but I don't see any signs of them now. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just curious. I asked a group that, um, a, a group of carnivorous, uh, oh yeah, I, I joined a carnivorous group here in Texas uh, in Facebook and uh, they did notice they did give their own uh, opinions about it but uh it, it's just something i'm curious about and just want to let you guys know but i can't find any right now um so what else so yeah you can see the the, the cold damage here i'm saying now it's cold because uh again with the high temperatures in here um i got better view so yeah it was looking really rough um but uh i'll show you guys the picture of uh when I received it and it was really small and it didn't really uh, thrive afterwards uh, but then yeah now I have my first ever um, picture and it's really really cool it's got its reddish color so very happy um, at the uh, winters here are pretty mild we don't get snow in San Antonio uh, but uh, it can get down to like 50 and I don't want to risk it um, but uh, yeah I'll put them indoors uh, but yeah, very happy. Wow, several new leaves. I <clears throat> already trimmed the old, older leaves. Um, oh, I watered this with the uh, rainwater. So um, just like the plants indoors, uh, my orchids and the pendies indoors. So yeah, so they're very happy about it. Um, got the fangs finally. Um, oh, uh, I have here um, uh, Venus fly traps. This one I purchased from the same uh, nursery as the uh, Ventrata. It's doing well uh, this one I purchased from pet fly trap um, last year I uh, placed it over there and I forgot to water it in like three days and it got dried up and killed it but uh, there's new growth but it's still struggling so we'll see uh, the uh, Ven the Venus fly traps I leave here outdoors during the winter uh, when there's a, 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 a frost alert I put them indoors um, I have a Sarasenia also, uh, but I've noticed that the uh, Sarasenia uh, uh, doesn't do really well um, in this kind of weather. Um, but I'll show you in a bit. But before I go show you the Sarasenia, because it's uh, indoors, uh, one more look in the picture. And very happy about this. It's the, it's the first time I really had the fully formed Nepenthes Baker Clarada picture all right so yeah let's talk about the sarasenia all right so just want to show you guys where the uh, sarasenia is located here's the northwest frame, uh, facing window and uh yeah i've placed it here um temperature right now is like uh yeah 79.5 fahrenheit i can't read the humidity because the gauge is broken but uh yeah let me pull it off here and uh, let's talk about it uh, all right 
Okay, so it's not as pretty as other Sara Saracenias um, that I've seen online. I, oh my, this is I don't know where I, I bought this at the same time. I guess with the VFT, um, but. Uh, one thing I noticed is it, it, it struggled uh, last year when I uh, put it outdoors, when I placed it outdoors uh, during summer. It can't tolerate the 100 uh, degree uh, weather. Uh, so I read in, you know, in the group that I joined in Facebook uh, that uh, they prefer like the 80s, 85, they're on, they're under uh, like a 50 to 70% uh, shade cloth. I figured I just put them indoors and see what happens because uh, again if uh, they're close to the window um, sorry it's too bright there if they're too close to the window they will still get that um, 80 85 Fahrenheit uh, temperature that they'll need uh, especially during um, uh, like uh, the late afternoons also uh, between 5 to 8 it will they, they, it will go through uh, oh it, I'm not yeah late afternoon it will get like two or three hours of direct sunlight and then uh in the mornings i believe like a one or two hours couple of hours um and then yeah ever since i placed this on the windowsill it it, it looked way better than before i have better growth like that vein veins grow like the veins are more uh visible compared to what i had before they would just dry out and die as you can see here but uh yeah i have this one's a new growth and that's one's another one so yeah so they look a lot better i leave an inch of water uh in the in the in the pot um but yeah so uh what i'll do is uh around uh, early september second week of september if i see the temperatures go like in the low 90s I'll, I'll place it outdoors i think it will do better and then of course um during the winter it will go through its dormant stage so only when there's uh, a risk of frost damage, or I'll, I'll put it indoors together with a VFT. But uh, yeah, very happy. Uh, this one is also doing good so far uh, this summer. Um, most of my plants are just doing really well. Uh, several are blooming and uh, thriving. So, and also, of course, I'm learning. I'm learning uh how to grow these plants and of course in what parameters i can give them so everyone's different uh the placement of their homes uh, which uh side uh their windows are facing uh, so it all depends everyone has their own methods of growing plants and in my case uh for this saracenia 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 delic yeah um i think I, I i figured it out and uh if this does really well i might get more of these guys and uh, they're fun they're fun to to grow and uh, I have a uh, fungus nut uh, infestations in here um, I'd be able to control it with the uh, uh, mosquito bits but every once in a while they'll get into the pictures and uh, uh, and they'll that's what will feed them so uh, yeah again uh, I think that's it um, again thank you for all the likes the subscription the subscribers the comments and uh, if you have any questions, any opinions, any suggestions, just let me know. Thank you and have a good one.